Okay, we're going to uh, configure the P2P cloud on our new JFTA DVR. So the first thing you want to do, of course, is you want to go into your menu, go into your network setup. You want to make sure you have the DHCP enabled. Also, what you're going to want to do before you do all of this is you want to download an app, and it's called XMI. So that's X M E Y E. Um, once you've done that, then you go into, you press, uh, go into submenu, go into guide, and you're going to go through the wizard. So you're going to go next, set up your time and date, press next, and then once you do that it'll actually test your network to make to tell you that it's on the network and everything's okay and ready to go if it doesn't then you have to press retry it's going to test it again you just got to make sure um, if if it says error you're going to need to go in your network and you're going to need to make sure it's enabled DHCP is enabled you're going to need to make sure that your your uh, RJ45 of course is connected to your router um, after you do that then you go to next this here will take you to a, if you have a QR scanner on your phone, it'll take you to a network that will, so where you can download these apps. However, it's easier just to download the app from your Play Store via Android or your uh, App Store for your, your Apple device. Uh, once you've downloaded it, like I said, then you go next, and then you go and you open up your XMI. So you'll open that up. Oops, let me get out of there. Um, once you open that up, the best way to do it is probably local login because it's quicker. And then you're going to, of course, add a device. And then when you add a device, you're going to press, you're going to enter a name. You can enter any name you want. And then you're you're going to click on this QR code right here. Once you do that, it actually it was already pointing at that. It actually implements the uh, the DVR address into there and then you just make sure your name's in there once it's in there then you press OK and it launches it. Once it's launched you can open it up. And that is how you configure the P2P cloud on your JFTA DVR.